Hi hey everyone, Lolly here. Today I'm going to show you how I made this large flap on my pocket letter. It is actually stuck in there. It's connected to, it's all one piece, the, this flap and these three back pockets. And how I made the little um, fastener right here. Okay, so um, I'm going to give you my measurements, but we need to realize that not everyone's pocket pages, uh, protectors, are exactly the same. So um, do measure. Like mine, what you want to do first is measure the inside of this pocket to the inside edge of this pocket, which on mine is about 8 inches. Because it has to fit inside. You don't want to go to the, to the very seam or it won't fit inside. So it has to be within the borders on both sides. 8 inches by 9 and 3 quarters. Excuse me. So this is my paper, 8 inches by 9 and 3 quarters. The first thing I want to do is to turn it the long, long ways and now this is going to be the, excuse me, I'm going to mark off this strip right here. We know that these cards are three and a half inches, but the fact is a three and a half inch card fits down inside the pocket. We want it to come out just a little bit to be able to fold over. So when you find your three and a half mark, go one notch past that. Okay, you don't have to try and figure out what that measurement is. Just go one notch past three and a half. Okay, and then turn it, let's see, this way, I'm sorry. You want the 8-inch side up here, but you want your, the line that we just did, you want that closer to the top as opposed to the bottom. And now what we're going to do is to actually score where these cards are going to go. We know the first one is definitely two and a half inches, but where do we start the next one? We want to avoid these seams here. So if we do two and a half, I see this seam, I'm going two and three quarters. The next one is five and a quarter, and on the other side of my seam is five and a half. And those cutting on these lines here, I'll draw these out so you can, so you can see it, sorry. And I'm not being super careful right now, obviously, because I'm just doing this for the video, and I'm writing on this board, and it's catching my pencil there. If you can see those, this looks really bad. <laughs> but there's my score lines. So what we want to do is cut out these two little strips here. I'm going to use big scissors because it'll be a lot faster that way. So that, and that, that, and that. We're just cutting out the strips in between the pockets and cut here. Like I said, this is a really, really bad job. Oh my goodness, these scissors are not pointy on the end. Did you hate that? Okay, let's go this way. So when we get these cut out, I didn't go all the way at the end at all because those pointy, those scissors are not pointing at the end. So, and then when you fold these over, these three go down in here. Now, that's a little tricky, but <clears throat> if I have to fiddle with it too long, I'll just quit. So these are going to go in there. These are the back pockets. You're going to insert this before you put your front pockets in because it's very hard to get this down in there after you decorate the front. But we want to do something with this flap, and it's totally up to you at that point what you want to do. I, for this one, I measured halfway, and this mark is very handy for later on. You can also decorate the inside of this flap before and the top whenever you want to. Um, and then I don't have a good die or a die, die machine or anything that would really cut a beautiful flap, so I just eyeballed it with a lid and did this traced it, and I cut it, and that's all I did. So if you don't have the equipment either, that's what you can do. You know, I'd love to have a Cameo or a Cricut. Um, I think I'm going to be on the lookout for some border dies. I think that would be really cute to do something around this edge. You can um, cut, put a doily around there. You can do some, this is really rough here, some other decorative work around here. Whatever you want to do with that, okay? Now, after that, this gets in there, and like I said, it's a little tricky to get them in at first. You've got to hold one in while you're doing the other. After you get those in there, yeah, you kind of fuss, fuss, fuss. There you go. There. Now it makes it nice and sturdy. Now you can decorate the front. You can decorate this if you want. I like to have. I like to leave this mark in there. Okay, so you want something that's going to make this stay down. You could do a magnet here and a magnet on the card that's going to go right in here. 
And again, I recommend the N32 magnets. They are look for either one and thirty one thirty second of an inch or one millimeter. That's how thick it is. You don't want big fat ones. Or you can do what I did, and after I got my um, card in this side and in this side, I did a hole punch through the whole thing, through the plastic and through the cards, and I put a grommet in there and put some little lace on there and a seam binding. Now this, if I can get a close-up on that, if you can see the dimension on that, there you go. Okay, this is, oops, okay, it's a brad, so you got to punch your hole first. Brad, and this is a grommet, right? You want to put the grommet upside down or the, the skinny end up. Put the brad through there like that, and it makes this nice little channel thing. You can glue it together if you want. Put it through the hole in your paper, and then spread these little bars here across. Spread them, and once you've done that, put something on the back to cover that, cover up the legs on that. Uh, uh, what are they, legs? <laughs> I don't know what they are, the arms. Cover those up, and so you have a nice, smooth latch here to be able to put this on. Now, remember, when you tie this, don't do not do it super tight because it is just a pocket letter. You can see it would just pull it too tight. It would just bend the whole thing. So it's just for decoration mostly. Okay? So there's just one idea of how to seal that. You could put um, two of these there and do the figure eight around them. And that would be really cute. Let me give you a close-up of the decoration on this. It's just a card. And then these cute little lantern stickers from Jolie's Boutique Stickers. That's it, friends. I hope that was helpful to you. Um, like I said, the sky's the limit with decorating these things. I'm even thinking another thing you could do on this flap, instead of doing the round, is to mark this, mark like, you know, so many inches up the side, and then even do a straight line so that you're having a you know, a point right there. I'm not measuring it out, but you understand what I'm saying. There you go, like a pointed flap, kind of like an envelope flap. Whatever you want. You could even leave it a rectangle. So, thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and leave me a good comment. And thank you very much for watching.